We've traveled to Albany, the state capital of New York, to meet a whole host of people that are fully immersed in our shared heritage, Dutch and American heritage that started 400 years ago, when Dutch colonials set up their colony called New Amsterdam and New Netherlands. The New York State Museum, the New York State Archives, and the New York State Library have uh, immense, enormous, vast collections that document New Netherland. We have hundreds of thousands of documents, including about 12,000 earliest Dutch documents from the settlement, and they range from court records and inventories and letters, those sort of things. Charlie Gehring has been uh, translating those for over 40 years, and they give us a very rich picture of the people and the places of New Netherland. This lays the whole thing out for the village of Beverwijk, and Beverwijk eventually becomes Albany. So it's the, the birth certificate of the capital of New York State. <laughs> it's important because previously uh, the English have gotten credit for everything here. <laughs> the research center was an idea I had years ago to bring all of the books that we use for translation together in one place so you can find practically everything about New Netherland in the research center. There were two things that the Dutch in the 17th century pioneered. One was free trade, what you might call proto-capitalism, the concepts of shares of stock, stock exchange, and the other thing is this Dutch notion of tolerance, which you, know, you have to uh, uh, kind of put it in quotes, it wasn't celebrating diversity, it wasn't, you know, we all, we love all kinds of people. It was a practical thing. They basically said it is smart to allow people of different faiths and different languages and so on to intermingle, to become part of society. So I, as I like to say, New York was New York even before it was New York, and we owe that to the Dutch. We're at Kralo State Historic Site, and it is the Museum of the Colonial Dutch in the Hudson River Valley. Uh, the building itself was a Van Rensselaer home, built in 1707, but the Van Rensselaer family first arrived here about 1630. Sharing this rich Dutch heritage with visitors is really just a thrilling experience. People are like, wow, this is, this is something I didn't know about, and it's unlike any place else in the area. So yeah, it's just a fascinating history. New York has this idea that we were always this melting pot, and that begins with the Dutch. It begins with the Dutch living with Palatine Germans, Africans free and enslaved. It begins with the Dutch welcoming in people who weren't welcome in other colonies. You know, we see around us buildings and architecture that's rooted in Dutch architecture. So we just want to correct the fact that people haven't understood that our story doesn't begin with the British, it begins with the Dutch and before them with the First Nations people. So the International Heritage Cooperation Program has been existing since 2013. We've established partnerships with many New York State organizations and we've supported many projects from digitization projects, education projects. We also work together with partners in the Netherlands with the Cultural Heritage Agency of the Netherlands, the National Archives in The Hague and Dutch Culture International Center for Cultural Cooperation, exchanging uh, knowledge on cultural heritage between the Netherlands and the U.S. It has enriched us, it has set new standards for us. My staff is so fortunate to have been invited to travel to the Netherlands for training from professionals in your country. We've had the opportunity to bring uh, cultural affairs professionals from the Netherlands to, the, to New York. We, we can only hope that that relationship continues. Today, we are here in the Lentantillo exhibition, which the consulate supported. He really helps to visualize the history. He enables you to walk down those streets 
of early Albany or early Manhattan from this time period. Oh, go, or go to the countryside and go to the farms, people sailing up and down the river. If you were crossing the Brooklyn Bridge in, in set the 17th century and you could be at that elevation, this is what you would see. I know that the footprint of this is pretty close to what was there and the density of it is about right. I was born here and I feel that although my family is Italian and my grandparents came from Italy on both my mother's side and my father's side, this is the place they came to. And in a way I, I felt, I feel definitely feel connected to all of its history. Before coming here, I, I knew and I was told and I read about, um, about that part of our shared history. But coming here and meeting so many people that on a daily basis that make it their profession to study that history, that's, that's inspiring, it's energizing, and it's, it makes me humble because uh, there is so much knowledge, expertise, and interest in that shared history. Um, and I feel that we too in the Netherlands, we have a lot to learn from that.